Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week we're making a small coffee table. See you in a minute. Now we had a contact the other week from a lady wanting to know if the people at Men in Sheds could make a small coffee table and it was essentially we were told at the time a mosaic that they wanted so we thought relatively straightforward um, just legs and a top and we invited her to come down to the shed and have a chat about it and it turned out what it was that she was intending to do was a table to commemorate or celebrate the button factory that existed in Bromsgrove and what she was actually going to wanted was a, a piece of timber roughly a meter by 600 that they could then glue lots of small buttons onto in patterns rather than a mosaic I suppose it's sort of a mosaic but they're more patterns than anything so I cut the timber and she went off on her way and paint, I think we painted it white for her and uh, that was that. And then I went into hospital and just after I came back in she dropped it back at the shed all um, full of the buttons and so it's now it's time to make the rest of, of the table and this is going to be a sort of a, a little installation in the library that celebrates the button factory or part of it anyway and we talked about it originally in terms of putting a certain amount of either carving or engraving on it that had details of the button factory um, but I hadn't really got much of a clue as to what what they wanted in terms of the shape of the thing and I spent quite a long while chatting with them and looking at things they were looking in terms of wanting something relatively modern um, in a, a lightish hardwood and I have found I think enough oak at the shed to be able to do it in oak and I've found I think I've got in my head now I've seen a coffee table that I think would do it's like gonna have a, like a glass top in it set into the top I think I've found the design but what I've decided to do rather than mess around and screw up a nice piece of oak I'm going to make it in softwood first so that we can refine she can look at it say yeah that's what I want or no can we make that bigger or smaller so we're going to make it in softwood first and then if that all works we've then got effectively a cutting list and a, a way of putting things together and it's already evolving in my brain as I sort of cut bits of timber as to how it should go and, and that's changing all the while so I think it's worth it in this case rather than waste a huge amount of wood that's expensive we can use what is effectively stuff we've been given that's softwood I've been down at the shed this morning and found some quite thick tongue and groove stuff it's probably 25 mil thick I'm guessing let's have a look see yeah it's just over 25 mil thick the aim is to make a frame of this which I can join the corners like so like a picture frame and then I'll rebate out for a piece of glass that will sit in the middle of it and then we can actually work in that softwood or hardwood it will be with the engraver all the way around the edge of it to do anything they want in the way of writing or drawing maybe even drawings I don't know we'll see that will make a top and then to keep the glass off the buttons and there is a bit of a, a raised button issue I'm going to have an inner part there which will sit um, going down with the glass over the top and then the actual mosaic itself or button whatever it is will sit somewhere like that on uh, a, probably a small bit of timber just to support it so you'll be able to look down in onto the the buttons themselves and the mosaic and as I say around the edge we'll have the story of the factory and then there'll be a four legs one at each corner um, I think I've got a design for the legs that's what this timbers for really I'm just going to draw that out 
and then try and glue it up and see how it looks and if that's successful we can move on from there. Now the coffee table that I'd seen I took a lot of took a tape measure along with me and then took a lot of photographs holding the tape measure against it so that's given me the rough dimensions I need for the legs. So I've got a piece of timber I'm just going to mark out roughly I think when I've got it to my satisfaction I'll treat this one as a trial one if you like. Once I've got it to my satisfaction I will then make a template and we can cut them roughly to shape but actually um, route them to so they're all exactly the same. got me two pieces of wood to the same shape but one of them is uh, narrower than the other and the reason for that is that that will then be glued onto there don't think it needs any more than glue and that will make my leg which is the same dimension now when you glue it up like that Right, that's uh, just come out now from being glued up. It's been resting overnight. What I'm going to do now is just run round some of these edges with the round over bit. That's got me the um, the shape that I want, I think. Right, so this is the bottom factory board that's come back with all the buttons on. I'm just going to pop it on the table and we'll uh, open it up and have a look. Now, I've not seen this complete. I saw it when they'd started work on it. So I don't know how deep the buttons are in terms of depth from the top of the board or not and I don't know how much of a border I've got left around the edges but we'll have a look and that will dictate how I sort the, uh, the frame out above it. There we are. So that gives me the border that I have to play with around the edges. I'm just going to go and get the framework itself and you can see that my thoughts have changed slightly. I won't be a second. Now I was originally going to glue this up as a table with a frame like that around it to give me a little bit of clearance for the buttons like that with the legs on the corners and then have these pieces with the glass over it going like that to the maximum size and then you would put your glass in on top and I was thinking about it last night and I'm sort of glad I've opened it up this is the first time I've opened it up um, because there are some holes around the edge where there was a bead all the way around it so I'm thinking that actually I want the frame to be smaller slightly smaller like that because there's still plenty of room there if I do that to allow the glass to go on the top without disturbing any of the buttons
Now I've just done a slightly sketchy bit of routing on the end of these um, so I can put a spline in to reinforce the joint which will go in there like that um, and we can then just put a spline in there and that should help give that joint a bit of strength I could have done it with a biscuit but I haven't got a biscuit joint to myself there's one down at the shed and when we come to doing it in oak I probably will because uh, even if even though I've left it so that there's no joint showing on the outside I have inadvertently gone through that way and it's showing on the inside but um, again that's what we're here to learn for if I did it with a biscuit joint or a dowel that would be completely concealed right I've cut the um, I've cut myself some slithers of timber and planed them down to a nice sort of tight fit but enough to allow a bit of gluing on the joints I've just had this bit in the uh, router which was I suppose it wasn't sketchy but it's the sort of thing a piece of metal that big spinning round is a bit daunting um, and what I've done is run that through on the edge of the timber <clears throat> and that thins the visible edge of the coffee table down to a level that I think I'm going to use in oak this timber is thicker than that so it's just put a slight bevel on that edge just to reduce it down and I might just ease those edges when we come to sanding um, and tidying it up once it's glued up but it's ready to glue up now so we've got all the bits done um, for the top I'm going to glue the top up I've also found a slightly larger router bit um, round over which is just taking that edge down a little bit so I'm happy with that now once again we're at the limit of the shed I think but we've just about got there in terms of size I can get this frame onto the bench well half at a time anyway so I'm just going to start and glue up some of these corners so that we've got a decent right angled joint I've got the um, clamps pushing that one tight there and clamping it down I've got two uh, dogs in there that will give me the right angle I'll then do the opposite corner and then we'll have to see whether or not I clear the bench and do the other pair up or whether I do it um, traditionally with clamps either side and uh, clamp it together with a band all the way around it we'll see how we get on but certainly some of them I can get done nicely like that and uh, we can then get a decent job on it Now in the end I cheated by getting myself another table from some uh, plywood that I'd got in the garage with framing on it that gave me the base that I could stick it out coming out that way I've cantilevered it off my own bench rather than clear up the mess over there clamped it all down clamped it up tight and got the rest of that frame done so we've now got a solid frame there's a little bit of work to do on that corner and this corner mainly because the timber wasn't equal thickness all the way around but I think with a bit of uh, sanding bearing in mind this is only the test piece anyway we can get that right there was a very slight twist in it and it was a little bit thinner but we've got the top done I'm just going to sand all that out now and um, we can see how it fits on the buttons themselves
I'll just pop the frame over the actual button part itself. What I'm going to do is centre it up as best I can to get the best sort of gaps all round on things and then I can mark on the back of this where the outer edge is going to be and that will give me somewhere to put all the framing to. Um, so I, I think given that the lady is coming to look at the progress tomorrow at the shed I'll mark this out and wait until she's seen it to make sure she's happy and uh, we can then move on in a week or two and get the rest of it done but that should give an idea of how it should all look when it's done so that's got us to a point where we've got the makings of the table i'm going to run over it with the uh, the lady tomorrow and hopefully in a future episode we'll see how we got on with that and moving it into its sort of oak phase if you like and get the finished thing done completed and uh, in the library so i hope the video was of interest look forward to seeing you next time we'll be doing something different in the shed see you then bye